Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and today I'm coming to you with some more EDC gear reviews and unboxing. And today's flashlight, yes, another flashlight, is coming from a company that I have reviewed a lot of lights from and really like. I recommend these all the time and this is through night. You guys know that I actually carry a through night T1 as my EDC light. I have been really impressed with this company. The quality has just been off the chart and I really like a lot of their options. Well, they contacted me again because they said, we have a new light on the market. Would you please do a video on it? And I said, sure, send it my way. I'll test it out and see what I think. And this is going to be the TT20 2526 but this one is going to be in blue. Usually they always send me the ones in black. And I was like, listen, I don't get to review any of the ones that are in various colors. I really wanna see how your anodization is on it. So this one says it is blue. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's gonna be a different color for my flashlight collection. So let's adjust the camera. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what it is. So like all the other through night lights that I have reviewed, it comes in this nice little paper box. And yes, I say a nice paper box. It's kind of thick. It's not really cheap. I wish they would put the stickers somewhere else because it obstructs their logo. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's see if it's actually the color that I asked them to send me. And yes, it is. And of course we get the usual warning. Please screw down the light head and tail cap tightly before use. We get the light and that is blue. I like that, owner's manual lanyard a case and a usb cable all right so we get a lot of stuff in this let's get all this to the side i'm a man i don't need instructions and let's look, take a look here at the light wow that thing is big i think this is the biggest through night that i've ever reviewed and i do like their products wow this thing feels really heavy and robust and I do have to say the anodization on it is really nice. This blue color is definitely something a little bit different. I don't know if this is necessarily a tactical flashlight, but it's pretty darn nice. I think I'm going to move this clip here because I don't want it obstructing the name and the logo of the light. Also, I don't want it getting in the way of the on off switch, but it looks like we got two as usual. So we have one here on the back and one here on the side. So probably you turn it on with one and the other one adjusts the settings. And I do like that. All right, so let's go ahead and tighten that down. Looks like we're good to go. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Or maybe I gotta turn it on from up here. All right, it's indicating to me that it is red. Okay, there it goes. All right, it's on. And that one goes through the, the different settings. All right, that's pretty cool. If I hold it down. Oh, I like this a lot. This one has the variable brightness. So if I hold it, it gets slowly dimmer. And then if I do it again, it gets slowly brighter. So you can adjust it to your needs. And I think the back switch just goes to turbo immediately. Ooh, I like that a lot. Man, this might be my new favorite flashlight for around the house. This thing is pretty darn sweet. All right, well, so far I like it. And you guys know I'm a big fan of these through night products. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off here in the garage, see how this beam looks and maybe compare it to another light that you guys know. All right, so here we are in my darkened garage. We're gonna try out this through night TT20 and we are going to compare it to a light that probably many of you guys know. This is the Olight Warrior 3, another tactical flashlight. See if I can get that into focus. It's a pretty good flashlight and very, very bright. So I'm kind of curious how this through night's gonna hold up and compare to it. So let me go ahead and turn off the lights and let's check out these beams. All right, so let's turn on the through night and there is the low setting and it does say it's a cool white light. So I kind of think it has a little bit of a blue hue to it. I don't think the camera's gonna pick up on that at all, but it seems like it has a pretty defined centered hotspot and it does have a pretty good amount of spill, but it seems like it has two rings on the very outer edge. So as I turn up the brightness, maybe that will come across on the camera. So this does have that variable brightness setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the button. And now we're getting brighter all the way up to max. And that little flash there tells me we are on max. That is really, 
really bright. I would say it's relatively a centered light. It is lighting up the whole garage, but a majority of the light is going to that hotspot and in the direction that I point the flashlight. Now normally putting it on turbo mode like it is now, it gets hot pretty fast. This one is not getting hot that quick. It's a little bit warm, but it does seem to be dissipating the heat. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the through night and then we're going to move to the O light to compare the beams. All right, and here is the O light. The O light has a very centered hotspot here on the low setting. And now we're gonna to go to turbo mode and yeah, that's probably still a little bit brighter than the through night. And this is a very directional light. The downside to this Warrior 3 is that it does get relatively hot pretty darn fast. But I do like that very centered hotspot for tactical applications and if this was a weapons mounted light. So this is probably a little bit more centered hotspot and a little bit brighter, but it gets a lot warmer. And I think for general use, the through night has a little bit better Beam. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time when we turn off the O light. And there is the through night. So cool white versus maybe kind of a brighter white beam that you get with the O light. This is definitely a little bit better for general applications, going hiking, camping, going for a walk, stuff around the house. And once again, please excuse my mess back there on my secondary workbench. I got a lot of projects going on. All right, so that's what the beams look like. So let's get these lights back on. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so what are my final thoughts here on the Through Night TT20 flashlight? Well, I have to say, this might be the most attractive flashlight I have reviewed on the channel so far. I like its size, I like how robust it is, it seems to be so well built, and Through Night is a company that honestly might be my favorite flashlight company. I have reviewed a number of their products. I carry a Through Night T1 as my personal EDC kind of pocket flashlight. It has worked great, it has been very durable, and every one of the Through Night products that I have reviewed has really been the same. They're really well built, they're very bright, I like their function, I really like the way that you go between the modes and how you have the the different buttons, the one in the back, one on the side. I don't like it when everything is in a single button. This is very intuitive to use, very attractive, well-built and robust. Not to mention, it's really bright. Might not be the brightest flashlight I own, as you could have seen in the previous segment, but it does the job really well. So I think as a general purpose flashlight for everyday carry, I think it's great for general use around the house. It's great maybe for camping, hiking, or just going on a walk after the sun has set. It will definitely do the job. So on my star system, how am I gonna rate the through night TT20? Well, as a general purpose flashlight, I'm gonna have to give this thing five out of five stars. I love through night flashlights, and I think this might be my favorite one so far. It works great, it's bright, it's attractive, it's well-built and robust. And you guys know, as I said, I always talk great things about through night. I've honestly been pleasantly surprised with their products. So what do you guys think? Have you guys bought a through night flashlight yet? I really think you should. If you're just looking for an affordable general purpose flashlight, you can't go wrong with this company. Plus they offer lights of all different shapes and sizes and uses. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'm glad that you watched all the way to the end. It means a lot to me and I enjoy reviewing these EDC items. So, as always, thanks for watching.